Welcome back to my Project 13. I recently just got a couple questions about the Asus Zenfone 2 bloatware. Asus has really crammed a lot of bloatware into this device, which I think is probably the biggest cons when it comes to the cons and pros of the Zenfone 2. So, just a quick tutorial on how to disable or uninstall. One of the ways that you can do it is by going into the app drawer, and you have all your apps right here. Now, if you notice, most of these are all mine. There's only probably a couple Asus apps in here because I have pretty much either uninstalled or disabled them. So, but let's say you wanted to. You come up to the right-hand corner, tap on that those three little dots right there, and it's going to give you a list of options where you want to uninstall and disable. If you tap that, it gives all your apps a little X above the right-hand corner of every little app there. What you want to do is tap on one of those, and it asks you if you want to uninstall this app. You choose to or you can cancel. That's one way of doing this. It's pretty simple. Again, that's in your app drawer, upper right-hand corner. It's the settings, basically. It allows you to edit your app drawer. Change your grid size. Go into the Play Store and get more apps. Feedback, Smart Group. It allows you to bundle up the apps that you use the most. So it's, it's a nice little... Um, edit tool. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it is to go into your quick menu settings. Upper right is your settings. Tap on that. Go down the apps. And here it's going to give you what's downloaded, what's movable, which as you can see, the blue highlighted apps are the ones that I've already moved over to my SD card that are not in the internal memory of this device. They're in my SD card now, so that's cool. It tells you what's running, what's used, what's free in your RAM. It gives you all, and it gives you disabled. Now, if you look at what I disabled, these are all mostly the Chinese apps. Some of them are what's already preloaded on here, too, as well, as far as like Google Play Games, Google Play New Stand. I don't need all that. And some of these are just in, in, in Chinese, so I can't even read it. But anyway, disable, disable, disable. See, you can see I've disabled a lot of them. But if you go over to all, and let's let's say I wanted to, to disable Asus My Water, and I don't even know what the heck that is. I would tap on that, and it gives me the option to force stop it or disable. So I would hit disable. If you disable a built-in app, other apps may misbehave. That never happens, and it hasn't happened to my device. My device works awesome after disabling most of the Asus Zenfone bloatware. I press OK. It's done. Now it says Enable up here if I want to enable that again. That is how you enable or disable Asus, Asus Zenfone 2 bloatware. Kill it. Kill it all, right? Free up some RAM there. Not have to have all that bloatware in your app drawer or in the background running or taking up space that doesn't need to be there. So anyway, I hope that was a quick way to explain or easy way to explain on how to do that. If there's any confusion in what I just did, uh, leave a comment, a thumbs up, thumbs down if you like the video. Thanks again, K. Reed, for uh, putting me out there. Shout out to you. And um, great talking to you. And for anybody else who watches this video, I hope this is uh, pretty simple and easy.